Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Don. I might explode some one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I have a random question for you. And it, and, and this is it comes down Uh-oh. to your personal preference. Uh oh, I have preferences, Jonas. Don't yeah, me. and I've just noticed, I mean, we always joke around that like we're like the yin and yang of each other. We're like so opposite, like I'm almost everything. So, but I noticed something too. What have almost you all of your shoes are white. And almost all of my shoes are black. Why do you choose white shoes over black shoes? Because that I mean, most people either go white or black because it goes with everything, right? <laughs> So why do you choose white shoes over black shoes? Okay, wow, Jonas, this is this is a good question. I know, right? Like and you've been batting, you know, pretty low. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but this is a good question. All right. So the reason I choose white shoes over black is because I feel like white shoes go with more diverse. Like white shoes go with everything. I feel like black shoes don't. What don't black shoes go with? I feel like if I wear any color other than a black shirt, then my black sh- black shoes don't go with it. Really? Yeah. And I feel that black goes with everything. You all you have is black shirts. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay then. <laughs> I have a red shirt. <laughs> I have a red shirt. <laughs> a red shirt. I do wear almost exclusively black. So and I wear a lot of black too, but I still even my white shoes go fine with the black. But don't, I mean, obviously, I mean, you just bought a new pair of shoes before we went to Vegas. I did. And we went to Vegas, and they were, like, dirty when you got home, right? I was, yeah, they still are. But, like, <laughs> white shoes get dirty immediately, and you can tell. Like, yes. But black shoes don't show dirt as much. Yes. So how do you, like, how do you combat that? Do, do you do you clean your shoes more than I do, do you think? I mean, we both don't clean our shoes. Okay, so, there so you go. No. Okay, there you go. So we just like dirty shoes, and I like mine I mean, to not show up? I feel like if both of our shoes are equally dirty, then, like, I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, look, if I want to clean my, my white shoes, I will clean them, and they'll be clean. And usually, for at least, like, the first couple of years of owning a pair of shoes, I'll, I'll try to keep them as clean as possible. But, look, man, time's going to come. Where they're going to start looking a little dirty. Just can't be helped. But essentially, yeah, white shoes only because of the way they look with an outfit. What's your reason for choosing all black shoes? Because I wear all black. And they, they don't look as dirty. They don't look as dirty. Okay. But do you wear white shoes after Labor Day? It's after Labor Day and you're wearing white shoes. Isn't that a faux pas? Um, I don't care. I don't think the fashion police are going to actually come to me. My, me home. You ever seen Serial Mom? No, she will kill you for wearing white shoes after Labor Day. Is that like uh, this is a like stupid a, 90s? Is this like a Kellogg's thing? Is a... no cereal as in I A L, not not E A L I A L C E S E R I A L cereal, cereal killer. Oh, cereal mom. Uh, oh, yeah, it was, like, it was like about a mom who killed was a cereal killer. Oh, like, I thought she just was like hot in, in the ass, <laughs> hot in the ass. <laughs> Oh, I, like, you know, I didn't know was, that was she that was, was a serial was, mom. She was making a lot of babies, you know. Serial mom. Yeah. She's, just, she's hot in the ass. How does that mean making babies? I don't understand. What, it's, it's a black term. I'm sorry. Hot it in is. the ass is a yeah. black term. Like there's really, a bunch of them. There was one I heard just recently that I have not heard since I was a child. Jonas, are you familiar with high sedity? No. Oh my god. I have not heard Hasidity in so what the hell does long. That mean? What's it for? It just means kind of like bougie. Hasidity? Yeah. What is like? I don't get where the where it comes from. I don't know where its origin is from, Jonas. It's just one of those colloquialisms that you just know. And it's a black culture thing. Yeah. Man. Okay. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I have not heard it in so long. I don't know if it's like an East Coast thing or what. It might be an East Coast thing too. That's. I don't think it's a Southern Southern term. Huh. At their own things. Oh, yeah. But, the uh, South definitely. But, yeah, it's hot, and, hot and ass just means maybe she's a little loose, I guess. Wow. That's what it means. She's so. throwing it around. Yeah, that's serial mom. Like, oh, my God. This bitch got three kids by four different daddies. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's so loose, she got two baby daddy and one boy. <laughs> right? That's crazy. That's yeah. how much she getting it. Yeah. Wow, dude. That's crazy. No, I've never heard of that. Do you have another example of something like that? Dude, you're not just gonna. I'm not. Uh, We're not going black culture. 
colloquialisms. I'm just curious because that. I, don't know. I can't. I can't think of any off of the top of the head, but I gave you two there. I'm trying to think if I got a white one for you. No. Uh, <laughs> Which you did, Joe? Oh, I, I know one. Do you? I do. Uh, when you slap your hands on your knees uh, and you say, Welp. <laughs> Is that a white book thing? <laughs> Welp. That means it's time to go home. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I know that one for sure. Welp. <laughs> it's universal, but everybody knows exactly what that means. But I feel like if you. You know, if you weren't raised in in white culture like me, then you probably would not. You might not know yeah, what that I've means. Never, I never put two and two together on that. Well, time to head out. Get you got get up early in the morning. Gonna catch me a. Like, yeah, I swear it's almost in here. When you hear somebody slap their knees and say "whelp," it's like you, you automatically go for your car keys. <laughs> Everyone just yeah, leaves. Yeah. Everybody's like, "Oh, my car keys. Where are my car keys?" Gotta. Yeah, I don't know. He's trying to be nice. Yeah, that's. Wow. Yeah, there, I mean, there's a lot of those things. I like, I like those little. Uh, I like colloquialism. I like, I like the uh, certain things that different cultures use. I, I, I like the wordplay. There's a lot of words that, or a lot of things that in the English language we don't have necessarily words for. So it, it's good that we learn to create them. You know, English language is constantly evolving. Yeah, it is. I mean, Webster adds new words all the time. They really do. And sometimes they're slang as f. They are because WAP is in the in the. Uh, oh, Cardi's. Mm, that's in oh, the Cardi brought it in, huh? Cardi brought it in. I mean, she was the only one talking about it. Are you, you know? Are you excited for her new album, Jonas? Uh, why wouldn't I be uh, happy when a new entrepreneur comes out with a new album? I didn't know if you were a Cardi head. I I mean, Bodak Yellow. What up? Do you even know what that means? I know it's a song. Okay, very good. I don't know. What does that actually mean? What is, what? Does Bodak Yellow mean something? Does it mean something? Yeah. Like, what is the meaning of Bodak Yellow? All right, so when you hear the word Bodak, what, what, is, what does that make you think? I don't know. What is, you, what is a Bodak? I don't know. You don't know what that is? I have no idea, no. What's a Kodak? Camera. Okay. So it's like a Bloods camera. I'm glad that you caught on the fact that a Blood would not use the sound in the name. So they go with Bodak. Now, Kodak Black is a rapper. Bodak Yellow. I don't know. Cardi B, she's yellow skin toned. <laughs> she likes the Steelers. Yeah. So she's calling herself Bodak Yellow. Because oh, because she's in the Bloods. Yes, and she, she's, she's and, Sue Wooing out here. <laughs> and she's not black. She's yellowish. Is she she's like, a yellow a yellow bone. Is she mixed race? She's uh I think Dominican. Oh, gotcha. But as a as a yellow bone, which is a another another world turns a little little slang for you you can use for your friends. Um, I don't know if, <laughs> if I should be using that with my friends. You can be like, hey, yo, look at that yellow bone. Honestly, if you said, if you say, yo, look at that yellow bone in a room full of other black guys, they probably like, everybody's going to raise their eyebrows. <laughs> everybody's going to raise their eyebrows. A little smirk is going to be on their face, and they're going to probably going to get at least one dap up. <laughs> All right. What's That's, it mean? What? <laughs> yellow bone is just a light skinned, uh, light skinned African American oh, gotcha. or Black American. Do you want? Are you curious what they added to the dictionary this year? By the way, sure. Uh, give me, give me some examples. I C Y M I. I C Y M I. So they add the acronym for in case you missed it. Okay. To the dictionary. I honestly like, didn't know that was it. I mean, I R C is in there too, if, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah. And then MacGyver. Okay, and that means to like. Engineer to, as stuff. a verb to MacGyver yeah, our way out. I mean MacGyver this is cringe. Cringe is already in there. But in the terms of like it was already in there in the Bender Kraut, but they had the like the embarrassing cringe okay, version. Okay, okay. Adorkable that, was added. That's not a real word. Janky. Okay, that come on. Sus. That, that, sus. Yes. And uh Yes! Ye Millennials, we did it! Yeet is finally in there too. Yeet's been in there. Yeet's been. No, in this there. is this is 
Is it? This is this is. Dude, I could have uh, swore to God, Yeet was already in there. This is the uh, yeah. This is the 2023. Wow. Okay. I th- oh I c- wait. Yeah. Okay. Why the hell are these seven here? Oh, seven slang words that were added to the dictionary this year. Yeah. Okay. I I'm, I'm, I could have swore to God that Yeet was added in a couple years ago because I remember when that got added and I was like, what why the hell? would they do that? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, but we won, millennials. We did it. We got sus and Yeet added to the dictionary. Real words can be used in Scrabble. Just sus, worth like two points. It's in there. Sus. Anyways, it's in there. Imagine playing Scrabble with my grandma, and she's like, "I'm like sus." She's like, "The hell does that mean?" Yeah. So uh, that's all I'm for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas TNT. Oh, uh, we out. <laughs>